Hi, Story Tyrant here. Video 2. Things to do to help make yourself a better writer. I am no expert, but I've seen this work again and again and again. Read voraciously. Read in the genre you write. Read in the genres you don't write. The best that's winning the awards. If it's one of uh, Dagger or Bram Stoker, hey, hey. Okay, you go see. Can you can you give her some nummies? I just did. Oh, okay. He's a good girl. Sorry. <clears throat> um. Yeah, read the books that are winning the awards. Read voraciously. Read best of collections. Go to your local library, please. Get a library membership. Go to your library and take out books and read them. This is critically important. Do an ebook, do a physical book, better yet, do both, uh, and read in different mediums. Compare mediums. Tyra's rant today. This should be common sense. What happened? Why isn't it obvious anymore? So, you're writing romance. Chapter 12 comes along and they've gone on a great adventure. There's been no kissing, no hugging, no romantic thoughts. Hey, she hasn't even noticed the guy is a guy or a girl or whatever it is she's looking for or vice versa the guy hasn't noticed the girl or the guy or whatever it is he's looking for no one's noticed anything that's not a romance it's most likely adventure fiction if you're writing science fiction if you're writing fantasy if you're writing any of those things remember what the primary genre is you're writing if it's science fiction if you pull out the science the story falls if it's romantic fiction, if you pull out the romance, the story falls. The story comes first. If the core of the story is science fiction, if it's fantasy, if it's horror, if that element is removed, the story collapses. If you can remove that element and it makes no difference, yeah, that's not what that story is. It's a different genre. Reading voraciously. Not only will you know what is going on in your genre, what's new, where the market's going, what ideas are out there, what's exciting people, but you'll also know what's been done. I can't tell you the number of times someone has come to me with a story idea. They're going on and on. This will be the greatest thing ever. And I go, it's been done a lot. And they go, what do you mean? This is, no one's thought of this before. So I point them to books and then they get mad because... Well, they thought it was the greatest thing ever. Usually you discover they don't read in that genre. So read voraciously. Go, library is your best friend. It's one of your writer's best tools. Go to the library. Make sure you're supporting your local library and they will support you in return. When you're there, read. Read voraciously. Don't just read in the books you're taking out. They often have discontinued periodicals, geographic. Grab those magazines, have a read. Uh, if they're discontinued, you see they have a little line through them, they're free to take. Take them. You will find dozens of story ideas in there. Wonderful areas to locate your next story in, or have as one location in your next story. By reading the best ofs, and don't just read newer best ofs, read several best ofs, you will know what's been done. And maybe you'll see something, you'll say, hey, I just read this article over here and I thought about this interesting place over here that I read about in Nazi Geographic or Discovery Magazine or one of the travel magazines. And you'll be like, hey, I could put all three of these together and, and I could do it this way, my way. And then you just go, you just go. Suddenly you have this character and it just flows out of you. And that's wonderful. And that is the spark of creativity. So read voraciously read voraciously so there's a lot of awards for writers for for the new book of the year or whatever um there's the hammock prize the ned kelly the seamus bram stoker the nebula shadows uh, aurora the hugo the philip k dick edgar agatha anthony dagger <sighs> nebula <sighs> there's lots of them so these groups get together and and they in various organizations all over the world. So there's stuff in Japan, there's stuff in Canada, there's stuff in Europe. There might be French, there could be uh, South America. Like there's, they're all over the place. So find 
the top their list and they're all online everything's online now so find their list and pick their top five books let's say go to your library and read them or download them and read them whatever the medium is that works for you download it and read it or get the book from the library or if you really like the author there you go that's how i discovered Anne lecky i loved her ancillary series loved it Oof. anyways um this will help you develop your own voice this will help you understand what's going on in the world in the genre you write in so everything in here that's being expressed by me by moi is my opinion it's uh what works for me it's what i have used over the years story comes first